Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you four amazing and very funny puzzles. This is Fide Master Michel Cotto and today I wanna analyze with you some really surprising and specially selected positions. Keep watching. This is the first position. This was played some days ago in a blitz game between two friends, they are two titled players, strong masters and here it is black to move. Black should be winning this position. They have a rook and two pawns, but also white pieces are not fine. Uh, the king is very exposed. Also the knights are not fine here. So this position should be winning for black. But here uh, he makes a mistake. He plays here rook takes knight, which seems to be very strong, but actually it's not good. After this capture, it is white to move and white is winning. I will explain it uh, very soon, but I suggest you to pause the video and try to find it. The way to win here for white is this beautiful queen takes g7. After this capture, black has to move. Either they capture with the rook on g7, but then they lose the queen and there will be an endgame with a piece down, or they can also capture with the king, but then uh, we capture here and again this is an endgame with a piece down also a, a couple of pawns as compensation for black but in general it should be it could be winning for white I guess this is the second position it is white to move and white is winning of course white can win here in many ways but the puzzle gets really tough when we need to mate in three moves so there are many ways to win but there's only one way to mate in three so, white plays, there is mate in three moves here. Pause the video and try to find it. I will explain it right now. The only way to mate in three moves in this position is by playing in the first move. This is strange, but strong also. Rook a2. Notice black king cannot move right now, so the only move for black is pawn takes rook. And then bishop takes a2. One more time, black king cannot move too much. The only move is going to be king takes knight and then checkmate in one with this bishop b1. Puzzle number three, white plays, white wins. Of course, white is winning here in many ways, there are many moves winning, but the puzzle gets much more complicated when we say we need to mate in two moves here. There are many ways to win, but only one way to mate in two moves. So I will explain it very soon, but if you want, pause the video and try to find mate into here, white winning. Okay, the way to win here is by playing the surprising, it's the only way to mate in two moves with the surprising rook h1. After this move, black cannot move king or bishop or pawn, so the only move is going to be pawn takes rook here, promoting to anything, and then queen takes queen, and this is checkmate in two moves. And this is the last puzzle, white plays, white wins. Of course, white is winning here in many ways, but the position or the puzzle gets much more complicated when we say there is checkmate in one. Come on, Mike, really mate in one? I mean, we have seen mates in eight, nine moves in your channel. What are you doing, man? Mate in one for me? Come on. This is just too easy, man. Hey, Mike. Are you sure we have the right position? This puzzle reminds me those stuff mates in one when I was a kid and I needed to solve a mate in one with an under promotion tonight, for example, or mate in one with a capture on passant or something like that those mates were really hard. Well, this is mate in one. It's actually a little tough. So, white plays, white wins here, checkmate in one move. I will explain it right now. The only way to win in one move in this position is by playing the subtle and a little surprising queen b3. And this is checkmate. Notice the queen is controlling here and here, the two bishops are controlling here and here from the distance 
and also the two knights are controlling here and here so that's checkmate in one of course the the move is really hard to find one of the things that makes this move so hard to find is that you're moving the queen in the same diagonal as the bishop with the king behind that doesn't happen very often that we move the piece with a pin and the, your opponent cannot capture so that makes it really hard I guess for the comments let me know how long did it take you to find this mating one I would say how long it took to me I think it was around five minutes more or less it's a really tough mating one so let me know in the comments how long did it take you or if you couldn't find it also let me know so this is the video I wanted to show you today I hope you have enjoyed it if it was like that don't forget to give me some likes so that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't never stop believing see you in the next <laughs>